my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tori Flores. Today's video is going to be part one of my Christmas decorate with me for 2023. I am beyond excited to share this video with you guys. I definitely think this is the best decor I've ever done. I know that's saying that every single time, but I really mean it this time. <laughs> but I'm so excited to share it with you. I'm also doing a giveaway in today's video, so make sure you stick around for the details on that. I will talk more about that later, and I'm also doing a collaboration with Rebecca Frazier, and I have been friends with her forever now, and then we're finally doing a collab. I'm so excited to be collaborating with her, especially on a Christmas video. Her decor is absolutely beautiful, so I will talk more about her later as well, but I really hope you guys are excited. I've got my hot cocoa, and I'm going to edit this video and get it live for you guys because like I said, I am just beyond excited to share it with you. So let's get into this clean and decorate. I really hope you enjoy. One of my absolute favorite ways to make my home feel super cozy for the holidays is to use scented cleaners. And I wanted to say thank you to Cap and Queen for sending me their Mary Berry scent and their Holiday House scent. They smell amazing. I was using the Holiday House scent in this clip, but I cannot wait to use the Mary Berry one. So I will have all of that linked in my description. I wanted to do a little haul because I did pick up a few new things since I did like my big haul. So I wanted to share those with you guys, but I am so excited about all this stuff. It's so cute. So just a really quick haul. I just want to say where I like, I got everything because I'll probably have questions. This is from TJ Maxx. It's so cute. I feel like it's going to look like the tree that I put in the dining room. So I think that's so cute. I got this little guy, but I think I'm going to use him like facing this way. I just thought he was adorable. And then I found this beautiful brass and marble tree. And then these were, this was TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. This nutcracker, I've been wanting one like this, like this size. This was TJ Maxx as well. Oh my gosh, I was so excited about these little light up houses. These were also TJ Maxx. So excited about those because I've been looking for something to go in that tray and these are just the perfect thing for that. I found some more um, Martha Stewart ornaments. I thought these were beautiful. I'm gonna try to put them on the tree in the dining room because I feel like they'd look really beautiful there and I really want some red ornaments. So I found these at Target and actually, so this and this wreath and this wreath all Target. So I think I'm gonna pick the berries off of these um, because I have an idea for them. Also, how cute are these trees? I don't know if I'll use them in today's video, but I just thought those were so cute just to pop somewhere. And then I have that wreath. I think I'm gonna use it on the hutch and I'll show you the advent calendar, but y'all, <laughs> I might've got a little carried away and got the cats. A Christmas tree. <laughs> um, so I saw, actually it started with the stockings. I saw the stockings and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute are these little $3 stockings? And I sent a picture to my husband. I was like, can I please get the cat stockings? And he said, yes. So <laughs> that's how it started. So I have a red, a green and two whites. So I was going to like layer those in a pattern like this. And then I turned around and I saw little Christmas trees and they had like the little skirt and the little ornaments. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'm going to get the cats a tree. <laughs> and then I found this, how cute. I was thinking about making this like the topper somehow, but I thought that would be so cute for the cats. And then I also found this advent calendar. I've actually been eyeballing this for a little while at TG Maxx and I love it. It lights up and I'm just so excited to like, I got some Hershey Kisses to put in it. And I think the girls will be really excited each morning, like before school. I don't know if I mentioned that I got this candle at TG Maxx, not like I needed another candle, but I love the mercury glass and I love the tree candles. Also, I have, this, um, the Nutcracker, that little tree, and what else? There was something else. And the Advent Calendar uh, and the Gingerbread. Those all have been there the past few times I went and like I kept picking it up and putting it back because I was like, I don't need it. But then I really just wanted it. So I went, went ahead and got those today because I was really excited. But yeah, I just wanted to do like a little mini haul in case, because um, I'm sure people will be like wondering where I got things that were not included in like my big haul. So now let's get to decorating. It's every time the snow is I was thinking for these floating shelves I have this picture from an antique mall I think I thrifted those at Goodwill and then I thrifted that at Goodwill I thrifted the little bell wreath at Goodwill and then the nutcracker was TJ Maxx but I just think it's so cute and simple we have a picture of us with chef Mickey and just a couple of Christmas touches to make it fun for the holidays I really love the way this area turned out especially like when we get to the rest of the decor it'll kind of flow and it'll be really pretty and I can't wait to see how it turns out. I 
had mentioned earlier that I was doing a collaboration with Rebecca and she is seriously the sweetest. Love her to pieces and I know you guys will too. So really quick, I'm just gonna let her tell you about herself. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. My name is Rebecca and I live in Canada with my husband Chris and our sweet puppy Holstein. I'm so happy to be collabing with Tori on today's Christmas Decorate with me. She is the absolute sweetest and with my Christmas decor this year, I'm definitely going very traditional and incorporating lots of golds and reds and greens. I will have lots more Christmas decorating coming up in the coming weeks and I would love it if you would stop by and say hi. I absolutely love Rebecca's channel. She always has the best decor inspiration. But if you are here from Rebecca's channel, my name is Tori. I also really love to make decorating videos and I am so glad you popped on over and I really hope you will enjoy today's video and subscribe and stick around for more. And no one cares about Oh my gosh, y'all, this is like the best Christmas decor I think I've ever done. I know I say that every time, but I'm just like in love with everything. It is just all the pops of green and gold. And I really do like that tree there. I think I'm gonna leave it there. And this is my favorite kitchen towel I think I've ever found for Christmas. I just think it's so festive and beautiful. I love the colors, just the perfect Christmas colors. And then, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Everything just turned out so beautiful. I love it. I love how I used like some vintage pieces with the brass and we've got like the greenery and the red. Totally in love and obsessed with this wreath from Kirkland's. It is missing like I don't know what it is about like it's it's like not got lights on this side but it's okay. I was gonna add more lights but I think it's fine and I love I just added the bells and the ribbon and then I have like just a slight whimsical touch with my little gingerbread man there and these little Santa salt and pepper sellers that I've had. I've had these for a few years and they are starting to look like, I don't know if you can see like the, whatever that's called. <laughs> um, like, is it called like cr crazing or grazing? I don't know what it's called. Anyways, um, got the ribbon here. I love just like the chiffin ribbon. It's so simple and I always try to do, well I say always, but I did this for fall and Halloween. It turned out so beautiful and I love it for Christmas as well. Just got like the little stems in here and then the colored candles just like for fall I did orange and now Christmas I'm doing red and I've got this beautiful glass candle. Love that. I've had that for a couple years. I've never lit it. I think I will light it this year. But I've also got these. Um, these were from that antique mall um, that I went to over the summer, I do believe. And I love those. They're just so pretty and they add like that vintage touch. But I really love how everything has come out so far. And later we warm up by the fireplace.
Oh my gosh, y'all. I thought I liked this area, but this area, <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. I just had a vision. Like I told Lewis, I was like, I really want some like droopy garland and that Norfolk pine garland doesn't work for this idea. It's like too stiff, if that makes sense. But I found this garland at Michael's and it's got that droopiness to it and it was really affordable. I think it was originally $19.99, but they did have like a 40% discount. And then I was just imagining like the wreaths and the bow hanging down, just like a simple little chiffon bow and all the lights. I'll turn the lights off so y'all can see. Oh my gosh. Y'all should ask my husband. <laughs> I got home with these I was like babe I found the perfect little houses I was so excited I was doing my happy dance I was like these are perfect because y'all know I love my little brass tray up here and I was looking for some little houses that I could put in the little brass tray because that's what I was like envisioning and I finally found these I found them today like last minute <laughs> and then very very simple over here just put some more light up trees and then this candle which I'm gonna light all these candles at the end get it feeling really cozy in here and then again I just pulled those berries off of these little hearth and hand wreaths tied a bow on them and they were perfect for what I was thinking I know they had some at Hobby Lobby that were like really pretty too but I wanted if it makes sense I wanted like the wispy looking ones <laughs> like the that had more like you know they flow out a little bit more the ones at Hobby Lobby were a little bit like not skinny what's the word I'm looking for I don't know but if you know what I mean <laughs> but this turned out like I just have no words. I'm so excited. I can't, let me turn off the light so y'all can see like all, oh, and then I also thought about putting lights up here. So let me know what you think about that. The only lights I have do not have a timer. So I'm not going to do it right now, but let me know what you think about that. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot, I cannot look at it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me turn that light off. So it's going to be like even better. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so cozy in here. Okay, I do think we need lights up there, but I'm gonna go get some from Target with like the timer. Oh my gosh, I can't even with these little houses. They're adorable. Bring on the evergreen. Keep the chimney clean. You know what I mean? Cause tomorrow is the day. I can hear the sleigh bells ringing. How they're headed for our house. And the radio keeps singing. What the sea. Kept it super simple here on the hot cocoa bar because like I've said before, my husband makes his coffee here every single day. So I didn't want too much going on and this like uh, just real world stuff that like, not everything in these videos goes perfect. I washed this out and I, I thought I dried it pretty good, but I guess there was still a little bit of water in it, but it's okay. And then I just put some marshmallows. I did thrift all these, but I think Target has some in the dollar spot. I got my little Ray Dunn mug and I just have this sign from last year. Like I said, just kept it super simple and I really love the way it came out. I think it is so cute. Christmas is on its merry way And for every single child There's a gift on Santa's sleigh The first flake of snow is said to fall
this is our Christmas 2023 kitchen. I'm gonna move on to the dining room, but I wanted to kind of just show a little overview because I am literally obsessed with everything. So I lit all these candles except that one because you know, the Norfolk pine stems are right there. <laughs> but um, that one is far enough away where it's not gonna mess, but I'm not gonna leave them lit. I just wanted to get it feeling a little cozy in here, but I love everything. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. Literally, everything is so beautiful. This is probably like my favorite area. I don't know, it's tied between like this area because look at this. Look how cute, look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, I love it. Everything just looks so cute. The red ribbon makes such a difference. Just all the pops are red off the white cabinets and even just the red off the black bar stools, the little gold bells, love everything so much. It turned out so good, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until like it's Christmas and we just got like a cozy kitchen and it's nice and clean. I love everything. I can't wait to get the rest of the house decorated. So I'm gonna move on to the dining room. Oh, it's Christmas time. I feel sad I can't help it. Got you on. Here's our little cat corner. I think it turned out so cute and the cats have been over here like playing with it. I have to like catch them on camera playing with it. But if you've never like done this, if you have cats especially, like so far they love it. They keep coming over here and sniffing it and like batting at the little balls and stuff. I like to try to catch them on camera doing it. Every time I start recording, they quit. But I love the little topper. I think it's so cute. Everything just turned out so cute. I love it. Like I said, if you've never done this and you have cats, this was like a super affordable little $10 tree, $5, I think for the ornaments, $5 for the little skirt. So $20 for the little tree, $3 ornament. Um, and then these were $3 each. So affordable, so cute. And I'm gonna put their little like treats and stuff. We'll probably get them like some little treats and some new toys and we can put their little um, gifts under the tree for them. That'll just be so cute. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> Why you bite, hi. Why you bite? Look, you play with it. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> She's like biting the ornaments. <laughs> it's fun to play. So really quick while I'm decorating the hutch, I wanted to talk about today's giveaway. So I will be giving away a Minko Pot from Anthropology, and the winner will get to choose between either a black one or a white one. You guys know I love my Minko Pots. So it will actually be the small size. And um, so they have the extra small, the small, medium, and large. I do have the medium, small, and extra small. So the small size is actually the one I'll be giving away. And I'll let the winner pick between the black one or the white one, or also 
$50 cash if they'd rather just have the cash that's totally fine but all you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed like today's video and leave me a comment with a Santa emoji and that is all you have to do to enter the giveaway and I really hope you guys enjoy <laughs> small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh it gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear those jingle bells people singing about love it feels like I'm a kid like I'm forever young and that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way Reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. No, it's the time of year, winter wonderland. My winter wonderland is the time of year My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang around and celebrate this day Everyone's smiling and it's snowing It's the time of year again A little bit of trial and error with the hutch But I really love the way it came out I really love it. Like, I think it's so beautiful. This, these little trees are just the cutest little thing to me. I found them at Target. I just think they're so cute. The advent calendar, I showed it to the girls. They're so excited about it. I don't think I've ever seen them get so excited over something like this, but they're so excited. This will be our first year, surprisingly, doing anything like this. I don't know how I've never, like, ended up doing anything like this for them, but... I think that's so cute i love how it lights up and then i've got my little dough bowl i did do a whole video on like dough bowl styling and tray styling so if you want to check that out i'll have it linked or it's also on my channel and then i love these again i did this in my little tray and dough bowl styling video i think this turned out so cute and the little houses i was i, I had a little bit of trial and error with the houses but i like the way that they look i think they look really good if i could just get these to like stay down <laughs> um maybe if i took the it may be too messy if i do that if i took all these off and try to like do it like i did the tray in the window i have this little tree that i thrifted i've had that for a couple years i filled it with the leftover hershey kisses so i did uh, fill these up i put two hershey kisses in each one and i told the girls we have to wait till december 1st to start and um, i put every other one has the hot cocoa hershey kiss and every other one has the cookies and cream and then they all each have like a regular Hershey kiss. So I'll let them figure out which one they want each night. But I have the little Target light up houses. These are so pretty. And I also did find a nativity set that's kind of like, kind of looks like this at Target. And I can't wait to show that to you guys in my next video. And then I added some lights to the wreath, which I think was a really good call because I think it just like completed the look. But didn't it turn out so beautiful? I love it so much. I really love the way it came out this year. I just think it's perfect. It's exact, exactly what I was envisioning. So I actually added those little bells up there. And so this is one of those Hobby Lobby bell picks. So it has four bells, but I actually, all I did was like tuck it by, behind my cutting boards. Uh, my phone was charging whenever I was doing that part, but I just tucked one of the bells back there cause I just wanted three bells. But I think that just like completed that little wreath up there. I think it's so cute. <laughs> So this is my new Christmas tree to go in here and it is from King of Christmas and they did gift this to me. So I want to say thank you to King of Christmas for gifting me this tree and I will have more info on it. I'll do like a voiceover and everything, but I already opened it because well, for one, I was too excited and for two, I just wanted to like, sh you know, see how the lights worked and all that. 
and y'all this is the prettiest tree I've ever seen in my entire life <laughs> like it is gorgeous and so I'm gonna set it up really quick I'm also really worried because it is a nine foot tree so I originally got this to go in the living room but then we bought that viral Home Depot one so I'm gonna see if it'll work right here I may have to get Lewis to scoot the hutch over but we're gonna find out in just a second and <laughs> I got a little helper here that's probably gonna be helping me in the way <laughs> she's gonna be in the way but she's gonna be helping me <laughs> Okay, so the tree is definitely large. So Lewis actually moved the hutch over and it's not like centered with the table anymore. Like, as you can see, <laughs> it's not centered with the table anymore. And I'm also like not, I don't know. I really love these ornaments. I think they're so pretty, but I keep looking at the color and I don't know how I feel about that. But that gave the tree a lot more room because the tree is very, very large. <laughs> so um, we're gonna finish setting it up, but I think it doesn't look too bad in here. It's just for Christmas, just for the tree to be there. But this tree, y'all, is so beautiful. And it has like all these different light settings. I have to find the remote, but it has like a little petal thing and all these different light settings. I'm gonna like finish fluffing it and finish setting it up and then we will decorate it. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. All right, I got it most of the way fluffed, but it is like one of those like more skinny, minimal, like sparse trees. So this is about as fluffed as it gets, but I wanted like, see what I mean about this little towel? Like once I put red ornaments on it, I was like, oh, it'll look like my little towel. But I thought it was really cute. And I don't know, maybe I should have got, cause the star didn't fit on top. That was my bad. But maybe I should have got the smaller one, like the seven and a half foot or the eight foot. But it does come with a bag, which is really nice. Cause I hate how the trees, never fit back down in the box just right they you know it's better to have the bag and it just comes with a bag it comes with gloves for fluffing also comes with this remote so i'll show you it has like all these different settings so like there's that setting and i'm just pressing these buttons this is my favorite setting i think and you can also like there's like the dimmer you can like turn it down you can turn it back up. Um, I really like that setting. But they have like a strobe setting. And I told Lewis, I was like, I don't think I can handle the strobe setting. That one right there. Oh, it's like, I don't know. If you're having a party, I guess. <laughs> that one. <laughs> um, but this, I think. Oh, this one I think is my favorite. Just the twinkle. I think that's beautiful. And then my collar didn't work. So I'm going to put that blanket under there. I think that'd be beautiful. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then we will decorate. Because I think this is about as fluffed as it's going to get. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people use blankets as like a tree skirt if they didn't have anything on hand. That, I've never done it before, but it actually worked really well. So definitely a good tip <laughs> to remember if your tree collar doesn't work because this tree was too big for the tree collar I got at Hobby Lobby for it. So I actually saw this tip on Instagram. If you take these disco ball ornaments and put them towards the middle of your tree that it actually reflects more light. I bought these ornaments before I saw that tip, but I wanted to try that out. And I actually do think it really helped because you'll see like, I'll show close up how it looks. Um, it's like sort of reflecting more light, but I thought that was a really good tip. So if you have disco ball ornaments, definitely give it a try. to do on this tree for tonight I may have to add some to it later like I'm gonna have to get a different topper and add some to it but for tonight it's getting super late so I think that's gonna wrap up this video and I really do love how these disco ball ornaments twinkle with the lights it's so pretty it just adds a lot more but I really like how it turned out <laughs> but other than that I have to add a little bit more I figure out what I want to do but I really love it for now All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas. So here is my Christmas 2023 finished kitchen and dining room. I'm so excited, y'all. Oh 
my goodness <laughs> I love this beautiful tree. Thank you, King of Christmas, again for sending me this tree. This is growing on me. Let me know what you think about it. I may have to tweak it, but for now, it's okay. I love the hutch. It turned out so beautiful. Look at that beautiful tree next to this hutch. All the colors just look so good. I love these little trees. I think they're so cute. I love that little calendar. Everything up here, just so beautiful. <laughs> I love everything. Even the little kitty cat tree is so cute. Oh my goodness, isn't it? I actually was gonna put some twinkle lights on that and I forgot, but it's totally fine. Um, not a big deal. So can we just take a second? Look at the way the tree is like reflecting off of the window. Everything is just so magical. Oh my goodness. I love it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Oh. I love this so much. I just can't believe how beautiful everything turned out. I'm so excited. This is like my favorite view. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness. I love those little houses. They're perfect. Everything is just perfect. Literally the perfect Christmas. This candle was perfect for this. <laughs> um, I love these little bar stools. You can see they're kind of getting a little messed up. They're not put up there very good. I'm gonna have to figure something else out better to secure those so they won't fall. But simple little hot cocoa station. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I just love it. Love everything so much. I'm gonna turn out the lights so you can see it in all of its glory. <laughs> this is such a vibe, y'all. It is so cozy in here. Oh my goodness, I love everything. Look at that big, beautiful tree. Oh, so excited. This is exactly what I envisioned. I just wanted something that was really cozy and like, see if I can get it to focus. Look at the little houses. I can't even exactly what I was thinking. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Oh, I think I am gonna add some lights up here. Let me know what you think. I think I need to. I think it needs lights, but it's so beautiful. Come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time. Smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three.